Well, tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. It's a day when folks are asked to support a charity of their choice, but experts warn to double check some things before you donate. Bryce Moore has details in tonight's Action Line Consumer Alert. The Better Business Bureau says the Giving Tuesday movement has raised over a billion dollars for charities since its creation in 2012. And while there are many reputable organizations, some scammers use the opportunity to pose as nonprofits. They know we're in that giving mood and that we want to help others. So they're going to go ahead and take advantage of that situation, even adding a number or changing one letter just to make it a little different. If you found a charity you like, do some digging on how your donation will be spent. So their website should indicate what that mission is, how they do it, and a lot of times they will even share their financials with the consumers so that you have the whole picture when making that decision to donate. All charities in Hawaii must register with the state's attorney general. You can check on a particular organization through the Hawaii Charities website. Remember, you won't be getting a tax deduction unless it's a 501c3. Not all nonprofits are charities. You can donate to nonprofits, but it doesn't make it tax deductible unless it's a 501c3 charity. Other tips for Giving Tuesday include not committing to on the spot decisions. Reputable charities will welcome your gift any day, not just on Giving Tuesday. To see if they meet expectations, check for their name on the 20 BBB standards for charity accountability. And if you're unsure about the organization's 501c3 status, head to the IRS tax-exempt organization search tool. We'll have links to these on our website, khon2.com. And a reminder, our Action Line volunteers are here to help. Call them weekdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The number is 808-591-0222. You can also send an email to actionline at khon2.com or go to the Action Line tab on our website and fill out the form. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.